Assalamu alaikum YouTube what's going on the new trailer for its final chapter uh, there were only two chapters but whatever the final chapter and the final trailer for the final chapter is finally out and we're finally gonna go and do a reaction video on it actually this isn't a reaction video it's my own shit we're gonna like do a live analysis of this thing and find out where it goes so be sure to subscribe if you like this sort of stuff now before any of you actually go on and shit on the quality of this video First of all, busted. Second of all, I am recording this on an iPhone 5, not even a 5S. Holy shit, I've come down in life. But I'm actually filming on that, so if it's shitty quality, I'm pretty sorry about that. And the second thing, after the trailer is done, we're actually gonna talk some spoilers from the book. I have read the book, it's pretty awesome. Mostly shit for the most part, but it has some really good moments. So if you don't wanna stick around for those, obviously close the video after the trailer is done. So let's just get into it. I'm sure you're not going to be here, able to hear all of this so, because I will be using this magical thing that I don't know what it's called but I found this in an ancient Egyptian tomb and supposedly if you plug it into your laptop the ancient Egyptians thought up this fuckery and the sound comes from these things. Who knows? Now finally before we start the video I just want to show you all something. It's pretty awesome. Check out my Lord of the Rings The Return of the King Habs. Kudos to my big brother for getting me this. Pretty awesome. Let's guys get into the video. Something happens to you when you leave this town. Nothing happens to you. Actually, you end up getting really famous and rich. And you get the prettiest girl ever. Why? Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. It's pretty annoying. Somebody took a big dump. <laughs> Just had to get one. Come on. Is that blood? No, it was a red light. There he is. Stop using the laugh, man. Come on. Is it the losers? Yeah, the tennis team is back. We made an oath. I swear. What the hell? <laughs> ben doesn't even look like the same person anymore. If it ever comes back. Come to think of it, I have absolutely no idea who most of these people are. Except from the woman and Professor Xavier. We can't let it happen again. Hello? Hello? What the fuck are you doing, clown? Really? Oh shit, okay. Now that, that was good. What are you doing with the tongue stuff? For 27 years, I dreamt of you. I craved you. I missed you. A lot of like throwback to the first part. There are six of them. We need to finish it. For good. Consumes us from the inside, and so we don't have a choice anymore. There was obviously spoilers. You died. If I died. What the fuck, man? Isn't that kid growing up? Like the same. Oh, okay. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good, I have to say. It was a good trailer. It seems a little bit action-y for my taste, but maybe that is the trailer to just like uh, bring up the excitement. I didn't actually see anything scary this time around, but let's just get into the analysis of this thing. I'm not gonna go over the entire trailer, just some things that I found really interesting. Uh, Okay, so have, we have this like scene over here where there is actually some kind of like bending of reality stuff going on and this is the point I'm trying to get into the spoilers. Now I have read the book, if you didn't know, and it's right here. Maybe if I just hold it you won't notice that I'm not actually holding the book because... Okay, I have the book but it's upstairs in like uh, in my attic in my storeroom in some of the boxes and I don't have it at hand like it's been years since I read the book but I have read it and it's pretty awesome some of the parts of the book are really awesome 
And in the book, you can already know, I'm pretty sure most of you know that it is actually an extraterrestrial kind of being who comes down to Earth in the age of the dinosaurs, maybe. And he's been here ever since. So, yeah, there is going to be some kind of like this uh, shenanigans going on around. Not particularly entirely horror related. Maybe we're going to have see some sci-fi stuff. And especially this thing right here. Now, this thing really looks like an HR Jiger like design. Where, you know, the guy who designed the alien. And if you look at his art, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah. They're all looking up and then there's obviously some kind of light coming and this is very like alien looking uh, some I don't know formations of rock so it that just like strengthens the thing uh, the whole aspect of it actually coming from outer space and stuff uh, then you know so yeah it's uh I have to say the trailer was pretty good man these kids aren't like growing up I'm pretty sure like they I don't know filmed it back to back maybe but the Stranger Thing kids, oh shit, they're like growing up way too fast. Okay, there isn't much actually to go over the trailer. It's just like a couple of quick scenes, nothing to like uh, talk. Okay, one thing that I will say, and this is a spoiler. If you don't want to get spoiled, this is my own opinion. I might end up being wrong, but you know what? I actually think that this guy drowning right here is actually Stanley Kubris. I think his full name is. Anyway, this is Stan. I'm pretty sure of it because he is the guy, spoilers again, he is the guy who actually commits suicide when he gets a call from Mike Hanlon back from Derry that it has come back. Now this is the guy who, uh, he is the Jewish kid from the first part who had that weird woman come out of the picture and yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Stanley. Now speaking of the book, I just want to like barely touch on the book. The book is pretty awesome in many parts, but in many other parts it's like a really big boring fest that you have to just slog through it to get to the good parts. And this time around I think obviously when they're gonna make an adaptation they're gonna take out the best parts from the book and then like make the movie and not go through all of those st uh, small story parts where the kids actually end up, I don't know, making a small kind of cave in a field where they like set it out and they read Archie comics there and stuff like that. Pretty sure that's not gonna be in the movie. So yeah, I, you know, like I said in the start of the video, I'm actually excited about this movie. The trailers, they're just not doing to me. Like, to be honest, I didn't like this trailer at all. It's just that. But I'm pretty sure the movie is going to be good because it is in capable hands. And the first one, I really like the first one. But the thing is, the psychological horror aspect of it is completely lost on the, on the first movie at least. I haven't seen the second one, I'll see what they do with it, but having read the book, I think the sublime horror that that book has, that constant like tension at the back of your head and that very uneasy feeling about living in Derry, especially when it comes to kids and stuff like that, the movies just aren't like are able to capture them now one thing that i really hope that they do they go for an r rating and you know what it is a book the book it the book it has a lot of violence against children now obviously i don't condone it and i'm pretty sure you can't show that on tv that a kid, a kid is getting mauled or something like that but you have to like have that aspect of the children actually being a in threat by this extraterrestrial or paranormal entity. The book has a lot of shit related to kids and I think that is one of the main horror aspects of the entire story that it's all happening to kids. The grown-ups don't give a shit about it and that's pretty hard to do in today's entertainment industry I'm pretty sure and especially in a Hollywood movie unless that movie is rated R like this scene over here. Now. Now we all know what's going to happen right here, you know, uh, we all know. He's actually going to end up saving the kid somehow or maybe that kid is actually going to be a like puppet or something who, uh, that it is just using to like uh, trap Will. But if it's not, then this can be a pretty good scene where they can actually not sh exactly show the horror but just to like imply the horror that yeah, the threat of it is pretty much real and it's gonna fuck you up. Well, those were my like initial analysis of the trailer. Like I said, that the trailers, they're good for what they are, but 
I'm just not feeling it but I do know that the second movie is actually going to be pretty good because this time around unlike the first movie the TV movie the second part of the TV movie where they had some like really bad actors for the grown-ups apart from Annette O'Toole because I kind of like that uh, actress but this time around they have a lot of good uh, actors playing the role so I guess we will see now I know this video is pretty long and you don't give a shit about an 11 minute reaction but this wasn't a reaction people this was like an analysis of stuff I have the 8 book right here I know that you're good tiring but whatever man you just look at my awesome Lord of the Rings app and be happy that you got to see it